Hi everyone, this is Kayla Carver from cleverpacks.co.uk and this is Fast Friday. So I was looking into a little project. I, I'm looking into get some 50 odd ones of these done. So, ooh, brace me for that. But I actually love it. The, this design series paper called Warmth and Cheer. Let me show you guys. It is. It has 12 different designs. And it comes four, you have four sheets of each of the designs. So you come back with 48 sheets of uh, paper on six by six. So this is the whole collection of it. And actually the whole coordination of this is what I love it. We're also gonna use the warmth and cheer design washi tape, the craft roll trim, just feel very very cozy the only thing is because our box is so small I didn't want to use the same coordinate stamp so I went with this teach it with cheer which has a, the kind of same feel of woolly and jumper and winter so I'm gonna use may your season be cozy so let me show you what's inside of this little box what I did that's where I use I got some tea lights and use the warmth and cheer designer washi tape just to cover the side of the tea lights so this box will fit uh, three candle lights on its side so you actually can display how beautiful the the washi tape is so this box uh, when it's ready is two by one and a half square okay. it's very little very delicate but feels so cozy because it's quite woolly with with this rope trim and i also added a mini pine cone so let me start i will start it with the stumping and we're gonna move on from there let's just clear it out this is the stock that we have i cut it already to size those the three panels that we're going to use in this box which goes on the front top and back and these panels are one and one quarter by one and three quarters and i just got a scrap of white paper to stamp because we are going to use the one and one quarter circle punch so let me get all to the side and let me get this stamping done this is garden green and we're gonna use the stamp make sure that your stamp is covered and I'm already now full of ink let's get this let's go clean and away let's close this so we don't make any mess and we're going to punch this may your season be cozy that one is slightly to the right I do this quite often. And it's likely to the right because I know I'm going to put a ball on the, oops, on the right side of it. and I'm just gonna leave it ready for us to assemble later so this is all the stumping done what can we get our trim them sorry our scoreboard and I'm gonna come and score just the base of the box so on the long side we're gonna score every inch and a half so let me get 
here and do one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. Okay. Then we're going to turn to the side and score one and a half again. Then three and a half. So this is all the score that is done. And we're going to burnish all the lines. Or fold and burnish all the lines. This, this is a box there is a one piece of paper box this cardstock is very strong so it just needs a little bit more strength when you're pushing down this is all done and our box is going to be like this closed so the only thing that we need to start is to cut all the lines on the long side all the way to the first score What I see here is that when we get this designer paper, it's going to be just an easy, quick, we just need to decide where is the top of the box and where is uh, the back and the front. Okay, so what we need is three of these sizes are going to make the front, the, the bottom of our box. You see? Here. But because the, the paper is quite thick, I'm just going to trim this second session section close uh, to be shorter so it doesn't get all bulky here on the top when you're looking down to it so let me make a mark so this is the front of our box but we're not using that one but we wanted to put the design series paper on all three parts so the, the flap the top and the back yeah, so this is where we're gonna stick this ones, two in three. So let me just do that. When you have a pattern that it goes, it has makes a difference. So I need to be aware which side that you're gonna stick on. This one doesn't make much of a difference. So let's just get it in place. Either way will look well. a quick box and it's just small enough so, so now we have all of them so this is how it's going to be when it's closed yeah so the first thing that we're going to do is this is the sides one that i wanted to reduce so i'm just going to get the the scissors and cut half of it is enough just so we have we still have space here what we're gonna do we're gonna put glue on these two sides I'm gonna use fast use for this one it's a bit stronger and make sure they will hold my box together and then I will bring the back to glue it here as you can see here I'm using the, the ungo off straight into the desk to make sure that these the boxes is, is right same thing I'm gonna now we're gonna put glue on this two on the front of the box. Get this done. Okay. This small box keeps slipping out of my fingers. The base of our box is together and it's just bugging me because there is a little bit of a thing. I'm not only on one side. Yes, now it's straight. Now we have the top bit. 
which is the side and the front but I want it just to get the box close on itself like it would be when it's done so this is the is the flap bit is going to be on on top and what we're going to do is while it's in place i'm going to put some glue on and i'm gonna get that to be a really tight fitting on the side of the box same on the other side There is a little trick that I actually like it is here. Get this tightly done around. So now I have. It's a bit bulky um, when you see because it keeps open these sides and I really didn't like it. So what my suggestion was that we open the box just like this and we just hold it together and hold the scissors against the both edges of it and you just come in you can get a straight line out of holding the, the scissors against same thing you hold on the other side the scissors against both ends of it and just go for it see it was really really tight um tight sorry really tidy um, finishing to it. It looks very professional. The last thing I'm going to do because it sometimes is you keep trying to open and, and it doesn't, it's not an easy place to pull your finger to, around. So I'm going to use the three and a quarter circle punch, come around and just make a little notch into it, just eyeballing half, halfway around. Oops, everything's flying now. It's very late. So here we are. The little box is done. The only thing left for us to do is just to get the decoration in place. We already done the stamping, so we're just gonna come and do put this here. Maybe your season be cozy. Oh, I love this paper. And now we have yeah, I don't need you guys. This week I have tied enough balls around on camera just to embarrass myself. Spent hours doing things. So this is the ribbon that we need. I am going to... A project that I did, if I didn't put glue dots in it. I'm going, just going to get one glue dot and get it down. It's such a strong glue. And I am going to use one of these green pine cones as well. Again, if you have the patience and the time, go for it and get it thread it into one of the beautiful metallic threads that we have. This one will be going easy, beautiful with the um, copper one. So yes, I'm just tidying up underneath. This is us done. Our little box is ready to be filled. Maybe I have another 50 to go if I make up my mind to have these as my swap for our meeting in, in November in a couple of weeks time. So this is it. We have two of them. You can actually fill with washi tape covered tea lights. I have these ones which actually they are orange because I love the citrus in it. And they're tangerine. So but you can have the scent that you is your favorite. So that was it, our little mini boxes for Fast Friday. Thank you for watching. This is Kayla Cava from cleverpacks.co.uk. All the details are in my blog. All the measurements for the paper and uh, all the details for the products that we use today. If you don't have a catalog, just drop me a line and I will have one in the post for you. I hope you enjoy. Happy crafting. Bye.